And now presenting two compositions about amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks for the cellular machine. The start with glycine, the simplest of all the amines. Replace the R with the an H and you get terms and kinks. Proline with its rings contribute to these kinks. Non-polar R groups don't get along with polar. Polar thinks they're cooler because they hang out with water. Non-polar are stuck with the lipids in the bilayer. Alanine, valine, leucine are boring. They all have straighter branch chain alkanes for their amino acid side chains. These amino acids are found far from water. They conjugate together in the center of the 3D structure. Polar amino acids can be charged and non-charged. They can be an acid or a base. You might think that they are only on the face, but that's not the case. They are found throughout stabilizing the overall shape. If it's caused by a nucleophilic hydroxide like serine and threonine, or forming a disulfide bridge like cysteine, these R groups want a positive charge like a dopamine. These aid in the overall shape of the protein. Ah. Amino acids are life's building blocks. They're essential for biological clocks. The 20 of them combine as proteins through the linkage of carbonyls and amines. A symmetry of the alpha carbon makes them chiral, forming an alpha helix spiral. Each amino acid is its own entity. Side chains determine their identity. You can see if you only have LASIK, they are polar, nonpolar, acidic, or basic. They are weak polyprotic acids in the L configuration. In the amine plane, steric hindrance is the limitation. So beware of the Atkins diet. If you smell like acetone, you can't deny it.